This van conversion is the Benny Mar, or the Benny Van 122, 6.36 meters long, Fiat Automatic. I've not seen too many of these before. In fact, I, only, I think they was only introduced last year. A lovely looking van. Yeah, 636 meters long, this one. Nice Fiat wheels. So this is where your standard six meter van would come to that there and you've got 36 centimeters extra there which in most cases uh, depending on the layout allows you to lay long ways instead of transversely in the six meter one it's a pretty looking van nice led strip up there when your awning goes on top Let's have a look inside. Aha, uh -huh. front dinette layout. Oh, I don't know, is that going to be too close? I don't know, it's different though, isn't it? I quite like it. Two armrests in this one, oh, the automatic nine speed. I'd love to drive one of these. I'd love to feel what they, they what their gear change is like. If anyone's got one, let us know. Because I know they're a three grand optional extra to have them in automatic, um, only on a Fiat. Ah, and it's got the pull-up blind as well. That's another thing I've always wanted to... I don't really want to touch that, to be honest. So yeah, standard Fiat cab, automatic, with the cup holders instead of the glove box. But you've got a glove box there anyway, haven't you? Full set of blinds. Pull-up blinds. That come up like that, like on the Adrias. And of course, the panoramic roof. Who's a fan of those? I like them because of the, the space. You feel like you're in a coach built. But you're in a van conversion, obviously but you lose your storage above the cab. But I like it. I like the feeling you ain't got a, you ain't got a kind of duck. Um, but there are storage pockets there, 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 a bit flimsy, so it wouldn't hold much with your phone and your chargers and stuff like that. Not a great amount of space, but I mean, yeah. It's got that more of um, uh, an open feel about it. So I like it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so you could put your table there. Does this seat go back to make it more spacious here? Yeah, I don't know. Well, sat here, I mean, you could put your feet up. I don't know, I quite like it. I quite like it. It don't feel that sort of crammed in i've seen pictures of them online and always thought would that feel cramped but no i think that's all right i quite like it so moving on storage cupboards quite large quite nice too any lighting under there no can't see no lighting Unless this lights up somewhere, but there is a, I assume that's a light there. And I'm not going to try and turn the 12 volt on. And more storage under there. Very nice. Okay, so moving on to the kitchen, I will say is a bit a bit narrow there to be honest so the flat opens here you've got your a little sink not the biggest sink in the world and two burners but i like to be able to uh, it'd be nice imagine doing the washing up the cooking and you've got that as a view well, a nice caravan site anyway. But yeah, I like it. 
Got your control panel up here. Well heating system. Another little storage cupboard above the uh, Dometic oven, a grill. Got a little, little oven down there. It's a bit cramped bending over here, I will be honest. Cutlery. That is, I don't know, anything you like, chuck in there. All right, don't want to open. Yes, it does. Pots and pans, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so quite nice. So that's up front, let's move midship. <laughs> Going to the toilet. Yeah. Right, so I pull out sink. Drop down sink, I should say. It just pops in like that. A little bit of storage under there. And in here, no doubt. Bit dark in here. A little vent there, but not a not a roof light, and a uh, curtain shower. A uh, shower curtain. It looks to be a spacious floor area. Heating vent there, one plug drain hole. Um, would this be in your way when you sat on the loo? Don't know. I'll check. <laughs> no, this is where I hope no one walks in. Mm. You know it's there, but it ain't in the way. Yeah, so a nice, nice toilet area with decent amount of storage so you got those little little shelves there and a big well wide but not that deep but enough to get your shampoos and toothbrushes in and all that okay so moving on to the rear section and we have two long bench seats and this does feel really spacious i didn't think because it's got that little bit up the front i didn't think it'd be this long up here but it is i imagine they're going to be about six foot i think they're both the same length yeah both the same length. So of course that would uh, do you as two singles or pull out to be one giant double bed, but um, that you can lay long ways, providing you're under six foot or six foot and under. I don't think you'd get away with that if you're over six foot. Well, you would, but it just means you've got to bend your legs a little bit. Nice set of blinds pull down fly screen and your LEDs or your little switch lights there I like that nice a nice big roof light too in the back let's have a look under these uh, what's under here Okay, so there's your battery, lead, and controller. Power supply. Yeah. 
so a little bit of storage there and the cupboards fair size keep in mind that we are in a van conversion so they're not as wide as your coach builds 2.05 wide coach builds are 2.35 wide so you've got a extra 30 centimeters width in a coach built than you have with the van conversions so i'll take it your tv would go there yep and a nice little shelf to put your stuff on table storage maybe yep nice size wardrobe I will say though, there is a narrow, there is a narrow feeling here. See what I mean? There's always a compromise, you can't have everything. But this, this area here is quite narrow. Fridge. I do apologise if the camera's all jiggly and that. It's a bit of a struggle to kind of turn here and keep the camera nice and steady. Nice little LED strips up here. Better look nice at night in here. Got them up there too. Both sides. Yeah, I quite like this van. So 230 volt we've got one there. I noticed when we came in, one down there. We've got one as you come in by the step. I haven't seen any USBs. Uh, one under there, so that's four. And I think that's about it. There is no more. But that's enough. Four 230 volt sockets. No USBs, but you can always add them, have them put in. I quite like this van. I do like the open feel of the uh, panoramic roof, although you're losing storage. I like it. Oh yeah, and a fly screen across it. That's always a nice little touch. So the Benny Van 122, a nice looking van. Oh, forgot how much it was. So 57,495, not a bad price considering it's got the 160 brake engine with that um, automatic gearbox, which, which as I said, is a three grand option. A lovely van, thanks for watching.